Hey everyone, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe because we are trying to reach the 10,000 subscriber goal. And don't forget to turn notifications on. But anyway, today we are talking about the one and only Tales of Rain Ravine. This is one of the best new horse games that is coming out in the future, so I just wanted to talk about it because a while back ago I did talk a little bit about it, but I didn't really give like an in-depth kind of like view on it, so let's talk about it today. What is Tales of Rain Ravine? Tales of Rain Ravine is a new indie equestrian game in the making. The focus of the game is to bring you to a totally new equestrian game. Experience with advanced riding mechanics, a variety of horses with unique temperaments, and a captivating story. The game went previously by the working title Horse Game EXE. As of now, the game is confirmed to have at least show jumping and cross country disciplines. So let's talk about what I like about Rain Ravine, and at the end I will give my feedback on what I think needs some improvement, because the game is still in development, and so far it looks amazing, but again, it's in development. So there's always things that could be added or fixed. But before we get into that, I want to mention what the game comes along with. So in this game, the horses have personality, which is really, really cool, because over the past few years, people have been asking extremely that they want a horse in a game with personality. And so far there is a few games releasing that have horses with personality. For example, Equestrian the Game, That Horse Game, Astride, and this game as well, Tales of Rain Ravine. And of course you have to care for the horses, and from my understanding, in Tales of Rain Ravine you can build and customize your own stable. There's also a heavy, strong focus on riding and training. So basically, this game is the perfect game for you if you really want to be an equestrian, but you can't really get a hold of that. So this is the next best thing, in my opinion, because a lot of people, for example, join Star Stable because they want to own horses, but they can't, so they hop on a horse game. But this is really realistic, and because it's so heavily focused on the equestrian life, it sounds like a really great alternative because it's so realistic and also it's so detailed. And on top of that, there's first person POV as well as third person POV. But basically, Tales of Rain Ravine is an amazing equestrian game that equestrians want to play and also non-equestrians because it is just very detailed and of course it's also an indie game. Support indie games, of course. But now let's get into my opinions regarding the game and also I'll give my feedback. But first of all, I need to talk about the areas. So getting into it, the stables. The stables that I have seen in the game so far look really nice, especially the luxury ones. I love the idea of a luxury stable, like being a rich equestrian who's maybe even an Olympian. And you have all these horses and this really luxury really nice stable and there's these iron gates and it's like just the perfect equestrian dream. Or you could have a little rustic stable in the middle of the woods, which is great because we love having options. What you envision, you can have. And I have to mention how good the forests look. The forest in this game looks amazing. I love the details for the grass as well as the trees. The forest is like really magical in a way, like it's mystical. Even though I'm pretty sure this game has nothing to do with magic, you could just feel how lively the forest is. And I really love the beaches. I, for some reason, love beaches a lot. Like in Star Stable, I've had my home stables close to beaches or I've had them at beaches or I pick a forest. But for the most part, I just love beaches. And the beaches that are in Tales of Rain Ravine are so 
pretty. They are extremely pretty. I love the water. I love the way it looks, the sand and everything. Like, imagine having a stable on the beach side. Like, could it get any better, you know? So I have to point out that I really love the art style. You could really see how consistent everything is when it comes to the areas as well as the way different things in the game look. Everything feels like it's meant to be together. But moving on to the details, I really enjoy how like the hoof prints of the horse don't fade away. Like if you watch different videos regarding Rain Ravine, the hoof prints stay in the dirt, which I, I mentioned that last time because I was thinking like if it was a multiplayer game and you couldn't find your friends, they could just track you down by your uh, horse's hoof prints. And that's like the best thing ever. I love little details like that because it's really immersive. You feel like you're in a real life equestrian world, like detailed, but also in a way that it feels very like art in a way it's just so good i'm not sure how to explain it it's just you have to see it to understand and one thing that i really find that is so so pretty is the sun i don't know why but whenever i see the sun in a game or the moon in a game i'm like so happy and in one of the videos you could see that you are able to actually ride around when it's sunset and the sun looks so pretty and the sunlight glimmers through the trees i'm pretty sure there's also wind that could be seen so nothing is just stiff you know things actually move like they move in real life and it's just really really nice and lastly i just want to give my feedback because yes the game looks amazing i have like barely anything bad to say like i can't imagine anything better for it really but when it comes to feedback, I would love to see the game become multiplayer if it can. I would also like to see more previews regarding like how to buy horses in the game because so far I haven't been able to find any info on that. I would love to know how we buy horses and where do we find the horses from and like how do they come in? Is there towns? Is there cities we could visit? Or is it kind of a world where it's like sandbox, where you have to like just build your own stuff and go on with your day? Is there a storyline? Because they do mention a captivating story, so maybe that's still under development and that's why we can't see it yet. But I would also like to know, can we breed horses? Can we have foals? Because I do love the idea of this game, because everything looks great so far. I want to know if we are going to be having more, which we probably are because it's still under development, like I said before. But also I have more feedback too, like, maybe it's just me, but sometimes the horses look a little stiff. But overall, it's a really nice looking game and I can't wait to see what else comes along with it. Because I do love the idea of having a game where it's like an equestrian roleplay, you know? Like, I did the demo for that horse game and I couldn't really do much except for ride the horse around. There wasn't really any story. Again, it's a demo. But for me, I'm that kind of player who, like, I don't really roleplay. I more so look for a story or for reasoning behind it. I'm really into, like, simulators. I like being able to design things and build different buildings in the game, as well as, like, manage my horses. Like, it would be fun to, like, hop on a horse and go on with your day, but I want to know if I can manage those horses and... Do they have to go to the vet ever? Do they get hurt? Do they need certain treatments? Like, I want to know more details because there's so much um, demand for horse games these days that I feel like we need more info almost. I don't know. It's in development. Again, I love the game. I would just, I'm just eager to know more because even if the game ends up being like a basic role play game, I'm still gonna get it because it looks amazing and also I need more horse games. I would just love to know more, you know, because like it just looks so nice. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and if you know any info about the game, let me know down below and also comment what you feel about the game because a lot of people want this game really badly. So let's just talk about it. But yeah, besides that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!